Hello there and welcome to the next tutorial and in this tutorial we will look at the second topic of this course which is date extraction functions and in the date extraction functions we will look at the different functions which helps us extract the dates within Tableau and then first we will look at the definition then we will look at their implementation within Tableau and finally you will going to have the exercises to practice these skills so follow along with me and you will by the end of this video you will have every knowledge to understand how you can extract a part of the date within Tableau. So let's move on to the screen date extraction function and the first extraction function we have is the year it extracts the year information from date so for example within the calculated field when you specify the year and you provide if the individual dates let's say you just want to provide a single date but not the field then this is the format you will going to apply and it will give you 2000 however you can also specify the field and within that for each date it will going to extract the year information and we will see it in Tableau how we can do that then you have the month information where you can get the month output 07 by applying the month function similarly you have the week function and day function where you apply the week or day function on the state and will give you the relevant week or day of this month then you have the date part function it returns date as integer and extract the part of the date so for example date part and when you specify day the only thing is uh, which is problematic here in this is the comma after the day you will have the comma so this is the small mistake which i did when i was presenting preparing this so day comma and then you have the date or the field will give you 25 but the important thing is that return the date as integer that means you can do further manipulation or integer operations with this also date part function can also take our minute and second as an argument to extract the part of the date so not only just day like it is present earlier year month week you can also have something like hour minute or second if you want to get that out as the integer then you can get it also you can specify when the week is starting i mean either on sunday or on monday and accordingly your output will going to change for that day or for that week or for that particular date that you are specifying so this is important because it may be your interview question as well as to what function returns the day or the month as the integer then in that case you should remember that it is a date part function and finally the date name function it is similar to date part like this function but it returns date as a string so very important that if the in interviewer is asking you which function returns the uh, integer date part or date name then you should know this or if somebody is asking you what is the difference between the date part and date name in an interview then this is something you will going to give the answer uh, like the explanation i just did that date part returns integer date date name returns the string and with that you know they will you will be kind of uh, telling them your expertise as to how much you know about the dates which is a critical part now let's go into tableau and see these functions all right so here we are within tableau and you can use the sample superstore if i just click it over there then it will have some date fields like the order date or the ship date and as you can see the date is having the format as date so if we bring this over the rows you will see that by default it is aggregated for each year but if we choose every day which is the lowest level of detail then you will see that the different dates that it has what we can do is just change this to uh, over here and you have this information about each day so what I will do first is extract the year information and as an exercise what you need to do is extract the date and the month information all right let's move ahead so with that i will first create a calculated field and here i will just give it a name extract underscore year and i will say year 
and provide the date which is order date and if I click apply and OK then the extract year is present here if I put it here you will see that by default it is taking it as the uh, visualization because this is more of a measure and if you have one dimension and one measure a visualization will be created so what we can do is we can convert it into a discrete and uh, what you will going to see is uh, in some cases it is giving you the output and in some cases uh, it has uh, changed this because the sum is present so what we will uh, basically uh, put it over here is remove the uh, calculation itself altogether by converting it into a dimension all right um, so for each date it is showing you the value so very quickly we will come and make it discrete and you have the 2017 for the year 2017 and then you have 2018 for the 2018 now since this is part of uh, this measure then one can do further more calculations like uh, subtracting an year or adding a one year to to basically justify the business requirements that you have now like i said uh, what you need to do is create two more calculated field as an exercise and then extract the month and the year and put it in front of this change this to the dimension and discrete and you will get an output like this that for month you will going to get the month information for day you will going to get the day information now uh, let's move on and see the our uh, date part function so again i will go into the date part extract underscore date part and here what we can write is basically this date part function and as you can see it takes three argument date part so for example what we can again take is small year provide the date which is order date and the third argument start of the week is in the brackets that means it is optional so for now i will just click apply and okay and now if you see extract date part is present here so what i can do is again put it here make it uh, uh, dimension and make it discrete so what it will give you a similar output as uh, from the date part but based on the additional functionalities that it has that not only just date year uh, day year month but you can also specify when the date is basically uh, starting so for example if i just go back again here and click on edit and uh, i will say let's say week right and i specify when the week is starting so maybe uh, in some countries uh, week is starting from the sunday but in some countries week is starting from the monday or like i would say in most of the countries week is starting from the monday so in those countries where it is starting from sunday we will just specify the sunday and we will click apply and ok and our output will be changed accordingly based on the sunday or monday that we are going we are specifying um, however if you will see it will not give you much of a difference reason being is uh, if you see this piece this will going to make a difference when we will going to specify oh yeah week i thought i specified the day information so this week information will be changed if let's say you have this particular week 12 and it is falling on monday then it will be increased by one but since we have specified sunday it is showing you 12 over here so that basically is the difference when the particular date is falling if it is on monday that's where the week will start if it is sunday then it will going to take the previous week so that's the extract uh, date part that we have uh, you can practice this with the year month or day or hour if we specify hour in this case what it will give us let's see this but in this case we don't have to specify sunday and click apply and okay so hour it will give us zero because what it takes is zero 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 as the uh, start of the day if nothing is been specified so that's why we are getting it zero but in those scenarios where you have the actual hour actual minute actual second then you can basically take them out here in this 
uh, in this function and finally what we have is the date name function so what we will have date name and we will call it date name so we will specify the date part let's say the day is something that we are specifying as the date part day and uh, then the date date is let's say the order date and click apply and okay so now you see the date name is coming over here if this is as a dimension or the string you want then you use the date name but if as a measure you want you will going to use the date part or the other date function that we have seen like the year month or day or the week so in this case earlier if you remember we have changed the extract year or the extract date part into the dimension but in this case we don't have to do that we can simply put it and it will give us the day information so now you can practice the date name uh, function as well for the year or the month or the week after that for further practice what you can take is the ship date and for that ship date what you can do is uh, practice these functions and uh, basically become uh, having a good understanding of what these functions are and how they basically perform if you want to take your practice to a next level then what i suggest is based on the new calculations that you have created you know do a subtraction like uh, ship date day minus uh, order date so for example when the order was placed and when the order was shipped if you subtract the day you will going to get how many days it takes for a company to uh, ship the product so that's the next level of exercise that you can practice once you get an understanding how to extract day or how to extract week how to extract year information so that's about how you can uh, utilize or how you can perform the action with the help of these function now in the next topic we will going to look at the date functions which is helpful in creation of the dates